Wendy Williams has spent the majority of her career chatting about the latest happenings in the entertainment world and beyond. After garnering attention on her highly successful WBLS radio show, she became one of the most popular TV hosts in all of daytime. Fans of The Wendy Williams Show happily drink up all the hot tea she pours. But with all of the focus placed on the famous people she loves to rip into, many of her fans are unaware of the sadness that surrounds the talk show maven's private life. Behind the big attitude and even bigger wigs stands a woman who's been through many trials and tribulations. This is the tragic real-life story of Wendy Williams. I've always had an ability to harness the lemonade in the middle of the sour lemons. Fighting the Shame As a shock jock and one of the queens of daytime TV, Williams has made the nation thirsty for more of her juicy gossip. Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show, it's what we do! But sadly, she wasn't always living the dream, telling people, my life before 21 sucked. As a young girl, she dealt with body image issues at school and at home. She told ABC News that her parents would criticize her, saying, I had a very tortured childhood. Um, my parents, they fat shamed me. She told people that she went on her first diet when she was in the first grade, saying, tuna fish and mustard with yogurt on the side. Weight was a big thing for me to overcome. I was tall and I was overweight, and I was reminded of that by my siblings and my parents every single day. She finally grew to love her body, and with the family turmoil behind them, her parents are now her biggest fans. A functioning addict. For 10 years, Williams struggled with a drug addiction. She revealed to NPR's Tell Me More. I mean, I wasn't addicted to alcohol or, or weed or, or pills or anything like that. I was addicted to cocaine. In a later interview with E.T., Williams defined herself as a, quote, functioning addict, admitting, I lost um, over a decade of my life uh, being hooked on cocaine. With her addiction in the rearview mirror, the TV personality has found a way to give back through her own organization, the Hunter Foundation's Be Here campaign, which helps combat drug and substance abuse in various communities. We want to create lasting solutions through legislation, support innovative treatments, and just get people well. It's a battle that can be won. Take it from me. Struggling with pregnancy. Once she and her husband, Kevin Hunter, decided to start a family, Williams hit a painful roadblock. She told People, There was a hiccup with a couple of miscarriages. Life is hard on us women. 21st century woman thinks she can do it all, but she can't. I know because I'm one of those women. She peeled back the layers surrounding her fertility struggles during an appearance on American Masters, revealing, I fought tooth and nail to be a mother. I suffered several miscarriages, including two at five months. That's when you have the clothes already picked out and the nursery is already painted. They ask you, do you want a funeral or do you want the cremation? Her dreams of becoming a mother finally came true when she conceived her son, Kevin Jr., in 2000. A painful discovery. What was supposed to be the most wonderful time in Williams' life turned to heartbreak, according to Vlad TV, when she overheard a late-night telephone call and some clandestine whispering. All between her husband, Hunter, and his mistress, about a month after Williams gave birth to their son. You know, I overheard some, some greasy talk from the next room. Well, who was he talking to? So, you know, I tipped and I crapped and, and I heard what I heard and I was like, wow, okay, so this is how it's going down. She says everyone has since healed from the situation and her parents still love Hunter. She also revealed how the affair strengthened their bond, but admitted, and No, I don't, I'm not back to the girl that I was before him because when you get stung like that, you never go back to who you were. Only a fool does. A scary diagnosis. Viewers were shocked when Williams passed out during her show's annual Halloween special. That was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. But you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. But after taking a hiatus from shooting to tend to her health, Williams came clean about her real diagnosis. You all, what I have, I have Graves' disease and thyroid disease, and I was diagnosed 19 years ago. She admitted to people that she had skipped a doctor's appointment to attend a business meeting, putting her health in danger. She said, I love doing the show, but I love me more, so I'm going to take care of me so I can be there for them.